South Africa's Olympic 400 meters champion Wade Van Nykerk get the latest local news straight to your inbox every day Wade Van Nykerk, South Africa's Olympic champion and world record holder over 400 meters, is out to cement his status as the new superstar of world athletics by landing another gold at the World Championships in London tonight. Built by Usain Bolt himself as the man to inherit the Jamaican's mantle, the 25-year-old will bid for a third straight global crown in one of the most hotly anticipated races of the championships. If he continues like this he'll take over track and field, was Bolt's verdict earlier this summer on the first man ever to have run under 10 seconds for the 100 meters, under 20 seconds for 200 meters and under 44 for 400 meters. His 400 meters victory in Rio last year saw him destroy Michael Johnson's world record, running a staggering 43.03 seconds from lane 8. He wiped out another of the Americans' marks, his 300 meters best, in June. He looked ominously good in booking his place in the 400 meters final on Sunday, barely breaking sweat in 44.22 secs. Last night he eased into the 200 meter semis in 20.16 s, with GB's Daniel Talbot a close second. Van Nykerk is bidding to become the first man to do the 200 meters 400 meters double at a world since Johnson 22 years ago and take a title held by Bolt, not competing in the event here, since 2009. Despite his form, though, Van Nykerk is still battling self-doubt. I am giving myself a tougher time than I would like to, he said. There are so many doubts, but at the same time so much belief, so it's like a good and evil fighting my mind. But I will pull through, I always do. It's a competition we need to go through to be the best and I'm up for it. They are contrasting characters, Bolt and Van Nykerk the flamboyant, larger-than-life Jamaican and the softly spoken South African coached by a 75-year-old great-grandmother. Despite Bolt's 100 meters farewell dominating attention so far, times never looked likely to be quick. The 400 meters, though, will be a different story. I know what they can produce, Van Nykerk said of his rivals, before saying gold would take obviously a good 43. That's understating it, that time will be needed for any medal. But Swana's Isaac McQuala also left plenty in the tank in winning his semi in 44.30s. Stephen Gardner of the Bahamas was the fastest qualifier in the national record 43.89s, winning his semi ahead of Jamaican Nathan Allen in 44.19s. The U.S.'s Fred Curley, the world's second fastest man this year, his time of 43.70 behind only Van Nykerk's 43.62 could only make it through as the fastest loser. The South African is also gunning for 200 meters glory in London, with the heats getting underway on Monday, bidding to become the first man to do the 200 meters 400 meters double at a world since Johnson 22 years ago. In doing so he is out to take a title that has been held by Bolt, not competing in the event here, since 2009. It could represent a symbolic succession in more ways than one.